Hello guys, uh, welcome to my video. Uh, in this video I will explain how to make your Xiaomi phone uh, record calls. You can see that in my phone, if I make a phone call, let's say... Uh, the reason that the phone uh, stopped recording is because uh, all the global uh, Xiaomi phones with the global ROM uh, has uh, disabled the dialer, the old MIUI dialer and they installed the Google dialer that has no call recordings because of legal, legal uh, reasons. So, in order to fix that, we need to uh, install either an Indian ROM on your phone or European ROM or an Indonesian ROM so this is how you do it first of course you need to back up all your phone you need to go to settings and connect your call uh, I mean connect your phone into a me account and uh, I'm pressing on account and sync and you need to back up all your shit um, maybe also connected to Google account, maybe install some backup applications from the Google Play but you need to backup stuff heavily because everything will be deleted it will be back as if you just bought it from the store now second what you need to do is to unlock the phone so this is what you do first of all under settings you go to all specs and you press on the MIUI version seven times I'm pressing click 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 boom my phone is now as a developer developer's phone I can go back now okay now you'll you'll be able to see that under additional settings you have now developers options and here you need to enable three things First of all, you need to go scroll down, go to USB debugging and enable it. Also, install via USB. And also, USB debugging. Next. Next. and accept okay now the other two things you need to enable is you need to press on me unlock status here for me it's already unlocked so once you go you go here you'll see like a line that enables you to activate the me unlock you're gonna have to press on this but button it will be here on the bottom until it will allow it will say that the me is now it allows you to unlock the phone and also you need to enable the OEM unlock unlocking for me already also here it's already um, enabled because my phone is unlocked but this is what you need to do you need to press on that and also make it enable now this is all for the phone now you'll be able to format your phone it is now allowed what you need to do is to um, press on reboot and uh, after you pr press on reboot, you need to start, uh, press on the start button along with the um, volume down together. Uh, once you've done that, it will, the phone will go into reboot mode and uh, you can connect the phone with cable to your computer. From there, we can continue um, with the software on the computer. Okay. Once your phone is connected to your computer with a cable and it is under boot mode, we need three files to format it. First of all, we need the new ROM that we will install, and here we can get it under Mi Community Global. I will put the link below, okay, under the video. So I will go to my my version. For me, it is Redmi Note 8 Pro. I will press on it and here you can see all the available ROMs to download you can see that you got the global which is something we don't need of course because it will have the 
the new dialer that doesn't record calls what I recommend is using the European one or the Indonesian one or the Indian one so we need to press on flushing guide and here there are two methods to install it do not use the first method it doesn't work press on fastboot update which is a software um, formatting this is what we're doing this will work and here we go down we scroll down and we're looking for the version we, of the ROM we want to install so again look for your phone Redmi Note 8 Pro for me and you can see I have the new global version which I don't want European version Russian version Indian version and Indonesian version in my case I installed Indian one because it had the latest version um, close to what I had installed already on my phone so this is what I did but you can also do the European one okay it doesn't really matter to my opinion I'm quite happy from the Indian one so let's do the Indian one okay now it will download the file and okay it will download the file now in the meantime what we need to do is install two other softwares the first one is called me unlock tool this is the link download me unlock it's downloading and the second one is called me flash tool let's go download download let's download the latest version I have downloaded the latest version and that's it now I already downloaded all three all three files you can see here the Indian ROM this is how it looks like take a look at the at how the files look like you see and the me unlock and the me flash so first we press on the me unlock tool let's activate it press on agree log into of course this is your me account you see it's the me unlock it's the me account and now it will connect to your phone and I will press on unlock once I've done that it will ask me are you sure you want to do it you say yes and once I will press on unlock anyway it will start the unlocking and it will tell me you need to wait 168 hours now and this is something very annoying you need to wait a week now very very annoying but there is no way to bypass it I checked I've checked all, all over the web of different solutions nothing worked for me I just waited 168 hours but once you've done that the phone is unlocked and and that's it okay keep the phone connected to your computer once it's unlocked keep it connected do not disconnect the cable and now we can go to a different software that we downloaded called the Mi Flash okay now in the Mi Flash there are several bugs so let's solve these bugs before we even start the first one we need to add the new new folder and we should call it log l o g okay second once we have once we've activated we need to go to configuration and delete the checkpoint thing there's a checkpoint thing just delete it and press ok all right now press refresh and you can see that my phone is loaded and now I need to select the, the file of the, um, of the ROM that we want to install so in this case this is the file it's far easier if I copy that folder if I copy it to somewhere more basic let's say under C okay just paste it here I already did that so I can select the, um, the folder under C I even made the, the folder name Shoto you can see that there, there's the original 
I made the one shorter because some people online said that um, if it's too long it doesn't work I just choose it press OK and something extremely important you gotta choose clean all if you don't choose clean all your phone might get uh, bricked very very unpleasant you'll be fucked so press on clean all very important and now you press on flush it will take it about uh, five to ten minutes something like that you will you can see on your phone that files are running and stuff like that but once it's done it will look like that this is how it looks like it says result success everything is done and that is it now you can disconnect the cable turn your phone back on recover all the stuff you uh, backed up on your phone and that's it guys the, you will have uh, you will have call recordings again with your uh, new ROM so uh, good luck and if you have any any questions please uh, ask me on the comments